We're going to create a best-selling book description, which is one of the things that authors really hate to do the most, and we're gonna do it with AI. I'm going to show you three different methods in order of awesomeness to create these best-selling book descriptions so that you really will not have to do it again yourself or hire out and spend hundreds of dollars writing these books descriptions. So let's get into it. All right, so there's three different ways to do this, and we're gonna be talking about this in ChatGPT here, but you could use Claude or any other chat bot to do this. And to go to my Google Doc here, this is the Google Doc where I keep all of the prompts that I use for these videos specifically. And if you wanna get your hands on this Google Doc, there is a link below where if you sign up for my mail mailing list, you will get this along with a number of other things. So there are three different levels that we're gonna look at today. There's basic, intermediate, and advanced. Let's just start with the basic, okay? So let's just copy this prompt and stick it here into ChatGPT. The prompt is write a best-selling book description about a fiction slash nonfiction book that, and then you insert your details here. So let's do a fiction book. And to go with a classic that hasn't come up on this channel for a while, but was kind of an inside joke for a little while, we're gonna go with a beach, sci-fi beach romance, which is uh, fun. So write a best-selling book description about a fiction book uh, in the genre of a sci-fi beach romance. And if you had more information about the book, like you already know your characters and the central plot, you could put that here, but it's actually pretty decent at just coming up with something on the spot. So this is a very simple prompt and ChatGPT is actually very good at this sort of thing because it's been trained on a lot of book descriptions as you can probably imagine. So let's just see what that gives us. Waves of Time, great title. All right, and here's the book description that we got. In the year 2345 on the pristine shores of Solaris Beach, where the sand glistens like diamonds under a perpetually azure sky. Boy, this is a very GPT written thing, very descriptive here. Two hearts from different worlds collide. Elara, a brilliant astrobiologist, has spent her life studying the stars, her eyes set on unraveling the mysteries of the universe. She arrives at Solaris Beach, a renowned intergalactic resort, for a much-needed break. Her mind brimming with celestial wonders, yet her heart void of affection. Oh, brother. And yeah, so this is pretty good. We end it here with a typical boilerplate ending. So Waves of Time is a mesmer mesmerizing tale that weaves together the allure of a sci-fi universe with the timeless charm of a beach romance. It explores the depth of human connection in a world where science and love intertwine, asking the eternal question, can love truly conquer all? even the laws of time and space. So this isn't too bad, right? It's a little over the top and over dramatic. You know, you could take this, maybe trim it down a little bit and, and be good to go. But there are some better ways to do this. And so I'm gonna show those to you here. Before we do that, I want to talk about nonfiction here. Nonfiction is formatted a little differently and we'll see if we can see those differences using the same prompt. So I'm gonna paste the same prompt here except we're gonna cut this part out so it's just about a nonfiction book. And let's just say, let's call this about nonfiction book about food addiction. I picked food addiction because that's something that I deal with personally and I would love to see more books on the subject. Uh, there's a couple of really good ones, but there's definitely room for more. Uh, all right, In Hunger's Hold, Unraveling the Ties of Food Addiction, acclaimed nutritionist and behavioral therapist, Dr. Emma Richardson. Okay, we're inventing who the author is, but that's okay. I didn't give it information about the author. Delivers a groundbreaking exploration into the complex world of food addiction. This riveting book sheds light on how our relationship with food has evolved into a problematic intertwining of emotion, habit, and biology. Blending cutting-edge research with compassionate narratives, Richardson dives deep into the heart of food addiction, yada, yada, yada. And here's something that's different about the fiction. We got a list here. The book is divided into three compelling parts, and it gives us the nature of the beast, tales of hunger, breaking free. So it's giving us some, uh, the format is slightly different here. A Hunger's Hold is more than a book. It's a call to action, a plea for a deeper understanding of food addiction, and a guide for those seeking a path to healing. Uh, and so it's ending with the same, a similar kind of boilerplate ending as well. Uh, so not still not bad, but also, you know, could be a lot better. So let's see, let's move up to the intermediate step here. And we'll start with the fiction option. And this is the prompt we're going to use. First of all, let's make sure, write a best-selling book description for a fiction book about, let's see, fiction book 
in the sci-fi beach romance genre. Use the following template to craft the book description. And this is why this is a superior way to do it is because you actually give it a template. Book descriptions, if you read some of the books out there about book descriptions, they have specific templates and things that make them good. And so if you can give the AI the, uh, the template for a good best-selling book description, you're gonna improve the quality. So first we have a first sentence hook. This should be a catchy one sentence hook that draws the reader in and makes them want to know more. A simple layout for the middle. This should briefly describe what the book is about, focusing on the main character, what they want, and the conflict they are encountering. The mic drop moment. The last sentence of the book description should be powerful in encapsulating the plight of the story and the struggle your protagonist faces. Comparison points. This section should let the reader know what kind of book this is by relating it to books, specific genres, or authors the reader would know. So with that kind of framework in mind, and by the way, you can tweak this, you know, you can create whatever framework you have. I constructed this one based on the re reference material we have on Kindlepreneur, where I currently work. Uh, regardless, we just give it a framework and this is what it gives us. All right, so it's laying it out here in uh, different sections, which is fine. But, uh, whoa, boy. Uh, so it's not formatted that great for a book description, but you could just format this yourself. One thing we might want to do is actually adjust this prompt to give it a word limit because, honestly, both of all of the book descriptions that it's given us so far have been a little too long. Uh, but let's go ahead and read what it gives us. In the sun-drenched future where love is engineered, biologist Marina Reyes finds her heart entangled in the most forbidden romance ever time. That's not a bad hook. A little long, but not bad. Marina Reyes, a dedicated marine biologist, lives in the world where relationships are designed by genetic compatibility and social algorithms, yada, yada, yada. Mic drop moment. As the waves crash against the shore where past and futures collide, Marina must choose between the safe harbors of a well-ordered society and the wild, unpredictable tides of love that could re redefine the very essence of human connection. And then it gives us the comparison points. This novel is a perfect blend for fans of the poignant and speculative romance of Audrey Niffenegger's Though Time Traveler's Wife and the Futuristic. I, I hope it's Niffenegger's. Uh, I don't know the, <laughs> how to pronounce these. And the Futuristic Societal Introspection found in... Uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce that. Anyway, does an, a decent job here, okay? Let's try one with nonfiction. So this is the prompt we want for nonfiction. Let's read it. Write a best book description about food. Use the following template to craft the book description. First sentence hook. In the first sentence, you first sentence hook for fiction. The scannable middle, middle. Call the reader's eyes to the most important spots or phrases by either using bolding or underlining, shorter paragraphs, as well as bullet points. List the benefits. When you write them, don't just say what they are. Instead, add a translation of how that benefits the reader. Example, a simple to apply technique so you can have unshakable confidence. Close with a CTA, which stands for call to action. So this is a standard kind of basic framework for what you would want in a nonfiction book description. Let's see what it gives us. All right, so here we have something. Conquer your cravings, a journey beyond food addiction. Does your relationship with food control your life? That is an actually a great hook for this particular subject. Conquer your cravings is your roadmap to freedom, offering not just a way out of food addiction, but a path to a healthier, happier you. Inside, you'll discover. And then here we have a list of things, just as we asked. And then the benefits to the reader. This might be a little bit too much in the list area, but it's certainly not too bad. We have understanding the why. Practical strategies for everyday battles, nutritional guidance without sacrifice, personal success stories, mindfulness and self-care techniques. Uh, let's see if it got that benefit thing right. So break free from the cycle, understand the triggers, break the patterns, live a life where food is a friend, not the enemy. That's kind of did what I asked for. Conquer your cravings is more than a book. It's a comparison, a companion on your journey to a healthier you. Don't let food addiction define your life any longer. Take the first steps toward a new beginning. Order your copy today. So I got the CTA, right? Not bad. Definitely better than what we had before. Okay, let's go to the last section of this whole thing, which is the advanced way to write a book. I'm only going to show you a fiction example for this, but it's super powerful. It can be used in any uh, any way you want to use it. The problem that arises from all of the examples I've shown you so far is that even though there are best-selling frameworks for book descriptions, there is variation according to genre. For instance, urban fantasies often speak in the first person, okay? 
And so often what you wanna do is go to a genre that is similar to the one you want, find a best-selling book in that genre, and then have the AI analyze it and from that compose your book description. So you actually create a template every time you do this. And it doesn't have to necessarily be in your genre. There might be just be a book that you really like and you like the book description and you can just take that book description, have the AI analyze it, and then write the new book description. And so this is gonna be a two-part prompt that we use here. This is pro prompt number one. Analyze this book description sentence by sentence to show what it is doing to engage the reader and sell the book. And then you insert the example book description here. I just went ahead, this isn't a sci-fi beach romance, but I went ahead and looked at The Fourth Wing, which has been selling like crazy. And so I'm just gonna take this part of the book description here, paste it in here, and let it go and let it analyze this book description. All right, and we have a sentence by sentence book description analysis here. So it gives us like first the, the first sentence here. Enter the brutal and elite world of a war college for dragon riders from New York Times bestselling author Rebecca Yaros. The opening sentence invites readers into an exciting high stakes world, suggesting adventure and conflict. Definitely a good analysis there. Mentioning that Rebecca Yaros is a New York Times bestselling author, lends credibility and builds trust with the reader. Also accurate. The second sentence, 20 year old Violet Sorengale was supposed to enter the scribe quadrant, living a quiet life among books and history. This sentence introduces the protagonist Violet and sets up a contrast between her unexpected life and the reality she faces, creating a sense of unexpectedness and intrigue. And it goes on analyzing every single sentence in this book description and it does a pretty good job too. Like I love, uh, here it says it introduces a specific antagonist. In, in this sentence, it says introducing an element of mystery and conspiracy, piques curiosity and suggests deeper layers to the plot. So it does, ChatGPT is actually phenomenal at analysis like this. And so this is a really good method to use. So let's go back and pick the next prompt, which we'll do right after this. Make sure you're doing this in the same chat window and say, using that same format, write a book description for and you can do fiction or nonfiction. In this case, we're doing fiction. For a fiction book in a sci-fi beach romance genre. So it's gonna use the same format. All right, and here's what we get. And let's actually read this all the way through, shall we? Set against the backdrop of a futuristic beach colony on the planet Azura, Acclaimed sci-fi romance author Luna Marquez introduces us to Waves of the Heart. Eliana Grayson, a renowned marine biologist, has always dreamed of studying the glowing reefs and mysterious sea life of Azura. Escaping a life bound by Earth's limitations, she eagerly accepts a research position at the prestigious Azure Ocean Institute. But Eliana's dreams clash with reality when she discovers that the Institute is run by the enigmatic and handsome Kale Marsden, who seems to harbor secrets as deep as Azure's seas. Despite her reservations, Eliana finds herself drawn to Kale, intrigued by his passion for ocean preservation and his mysterious past. As Eliana delves deeper into the mysteries of Azura's oceans, she learns of an impending ecological disaster that could destroy the planet's unique marine life. Racing against time, she must rely on Kale's knowledge and the advanced technology of Azura to save the planet she's grown to love. The sparkling beaches of Azura serve as a romantic and otherworldly setting where Eliana's and Kale's relationship blossoms amid the bat amidst the backdrop of bioluminescent waves and futuristic beach resorts. But as they grow closer, Eliana is torn between her career ambitions and her unexpected feelings for Kale. In a world where the line between nature and technology blurs, Eliana must navigate the treacherous waters of love and loyalty, and Kale must confront the shadows of his past to protect the future of Azura. In Waves of the Heart, Marquez crafts a tale of passion, discovery, and the enduring power of love set in the future where the wonders of science and the depth of human emotion collide spectacularly. And that's it. So yeah, by far the best quality book description we've put together so far because it is following the same uh, structure that we have here. And I've even seen others. This one that I did earlier actually made me want to write it. it. It was so good. Overall, it does a pretty good job following the same structure and giving us something that's way better than we would have gotten otherwise and way better than if you just simply ask ChatGPT for a good book description. You run it through these prompts and it will do much better. If you wanna see more on this, 
because I actually find that book descriptions are really a really good tool for brainstorming, but I have a whole lot of brainstorming techniques. And so I have a video here that I will link that I think you should check out if you're interested in finding your idea, finding the thing that you can create for a book description, because I genuinely believe that you should write your book description before you even start writing the book. Because if you can understand what that hook is, what is makes it so interesting, and what might make somebody actually pick up the book, you're gonna have a much better time actually writing the novel. So check out that video right there with my brainstorming prompts and I'll see you in the next one.